Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying to defeat Colonel Gearheart as an HQ-21. Um, this Colonel Gearheart looks a lot harder than past Colonel Gearheart, so I want to try to defeat it in the best way possible using the fewest number of attacks. I love Colonel Gearheart, but I don't always get to attack her every week. Um, but it is a great time to get prototype parts, and sometimes a specific kind of loot. This week, it's stone, which is really, really good for us. Not like we can upgrade anything, though. Okay, so let's come up with a plan. Obviously, warriors isn't going to work until the shield generators go down. So it's more of a, should I try to take down the shield generators and rush using warriors, or should I just try to go straight into the base? And this has got to be the most flotsoms I've ever seen together. I think it'd probably take two or three attacks to take down the shield generators and then it's pretty risky to do it to, to finish it up in five attacks if I'm being honest so I don't think warriors is a viable option I think we kind of just have to go from the bottom trying to take down the flotsoms and we cannot use a combination that counters or, or that um, doesn't counter flotsoms we need to use a combination that counters flotsom and I think grenadiers to start might be a really really good move <laughs> we'll see though we'll see though this is going to be really really tough i'm hoping the grenadiers will stand out of range of all the flotsoms that's kind of my ideal scenario and i think to do that i'm gonna have to like get a flare down here get all my grenadiers at the bottom here and then get a smoke out but yeah my goal is to sit at the bottom hopefully none of the flotsoms will hook into me and I'm hoping to stay out of range of all the flotsoms and hope, hopefully take down a lot of these defenses staying out of range. And it's going pretty well right now. I mean, as soon as these flamethrowers are gone, that's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna drop a reflare maybe. No, we'll just let them uh, approach naturally. So I am gonna have to take down some of these boom mines because otherwise my Grenadiers will get hit by them and let's get some shocks out because it looks like my critters aren't getting spawned fast enough So Colonel Gearheart Has a lot of help. I think it's close to like 400,000 this time around Because the HQ had a hundred and eighty thousand and then the HP boost on top of that was an additional like four hundred and fifty thousand so it's probably like closer to three hundred thousand, but still that's crazy three hundred thousand health boosts Flotsums, usually prototypes have like 20 to 30,000. So these Flotsums have probably close to like 60,000 HP each, which is insane. That's actually insane. That's a lot of HP and uh, hopefully we're able to take it out. So this is the main reason I wanted to go from the bottom. It's because when Flotsums are destroyed, they blow up and any of your troops in that range will die as well and i also just realized now that we have medics if i would have thought ahead i definitely would not have brought medics because medics on this are pretty much useless that sucks medics were not the move i think this is the only combination that is, would do so well against this base every other combination is gonna sit in the the range of the flotsoms this is about to be really really cool all these flotsoms are going to blow up at once. Look at this, look at this. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Let's go. And they also damage defenses, but honestly, it's not that much. I'm still going to have to burn through like 2 million HP on the core. But I think if I can take down most of these flotsoms, literally my next attack could just come in with bombardiers heavies or something and finish it up. Or even just all bombardiers. I think that would probably do it. This is awesome. I mean, this is going very, very well. Uh, but I am going to redirect because I want the troops on the left-hand side to get more action because I don't I don't care if these defense or these buildings are not even defenses. I don't care if those are taken out. I just need this area to go. And it looks like they're clumping up a little too much and actually getting wrecked by some of the flossoms. I Probably that wasn't the move to do a reflare. I wasn't expecting them to go into range of the flotsoms. So that really sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. All right. As long as I can take down like all but three flotsoms, I'm going to be happy. And I'm sitting on a lot of energy. Don't worry. I'm not going to forget to spend it. However, I just want to see what all we can spend it on. And I think if I just bark down that whole area on the right hand side. 
Perfect. 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 And then let's finish up the flotsams. All right, flotsams are all done. And then we'll also take down this sniper tower up in the back. And we are sitting good. That was one attack. Literally one attack. I saw this war factory and thought, this is going to be a really, really tough war factory. Or war, yeah, war factory, Gearheart. But I think I'm actually going to be able to beat it in two attacks. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load up bombardiers. I don't really want to bring that many heavies. So I think we'll go with a 6-2 combination because there are some uh, defenses that can hit me like the shock launcher. So I think that's going to be good. Two and a half million HP. That is doable. That is like more than doable. Um, we're definitely going to be able to win here. We're definitely 100% going to beat this in two attacks. Which is insane, because I literally thought this base would be not impossible, but very, very tough. But the Grenadiers was definitely the combination. And this is what I'm talking about. Bombardiers are just like, they just have so much HP. Not HP. <laughs> they don't have a lot of HP. They have a lot of damage. They just deal so much damage. Um, I think they don't do quite... I don't remember if they do more per unit size than Zookas. Um, yeah, I don't quite remember that, but I think it's pretty close. And I, I really think it's more than Zookas. So, I mean, this is what you'd want to bring if you're trying to clear a two and a half million core, which is what I'm doing. And look at that, only a minute in, we've already taken out like a million and a half of the HP. And we're gonna finish this up very, very nicely pretty soon in two attacks. I can't believe it. That's definitely the best I've done on this account. But I haven't been in HQ 21 attacking Gear Heart yet, so this is a first, but you know, it's pretty much the same as HQ 20 because I didn't get any more unit sizes. I guess I did upgrade. I mean, I have Bombardiers, which I wouldn't have had at HQ 20. I would have just brought Zookas, and I think I probably could have still done it, although it probably would have been a little harder and closer in um, in how, I, how I've done it. I don't know if I would have been able to take it out with Zookas. Actually, probably, probably. But the shock launcher might have hit my Zookas when targeting heavies, and then it just would have been a mess, and it would not go well. But there we go. We got gear up. I haven't gotten an achievement completed on this account in a very, very long time. So let's grab it here. So I think it was win, yeah, win 900 gear heart points. Let's just take a look at our achievements because I'm in HQ21 and I wanna show you what I have. So we'll just go to the ones I don't have. So I have to defend my base. Obviously this one is one of the harder ones. It takes a very, very long time, especially if you're an offensive player like me. I'm not even an eighth of the way there. War protection, control 35 resource bases. I don't really attack resource bases, but if I wanted to, I could knock that out right now. I have more than seven unclaimed resource bases on my map. And then bagging Dr. T. So I just have to attack Dr. T more. I don't really attack Dr. T on this account, so I need to get to that. Submariner is also a really, really hard one to complete. I am only a fifth of the way there. And also it doesn't really give you that many diamonds. I guess most of these don't give you diamonds. Uh, hammer down. I have zero stars out of three. It's not looking very good for me, but again, that's kind of related to my defense. I need to upgrade my defense gear up. We just got that today. I'm about halfway, a little under halfway to getting the last achievement. Outfitter, do 235 armory upgrades. I'm getting close, getting close. Still a long ways off though. I mean, I've done 219, but I have like 20 more I have to do. So it's definitely gonna take a little bit. Perfectionist salvaged 3000 statues. Now this one is probably the hardest one to do. Um, it just takes forever because your statues that you're going through are guardians, which each take an hour. So I have 2,500 left. And if I continuously just am always doing one guardian at a time. That's 2,500 hours. That's a long, long time. 
It's a very hard one to do, and that's why it's a lot easier when we didn't have that destroy button and you had to manually wait 10 seconds for each idol. However, if you want to get that achievement, going through idols this way is definitely the way to do it. So just something to keep in mind. We'll just do two uh, right now. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Look at this. I have two landing crabs maxed out at HQ 21. Uh, I saw six more, you know, my gunboat is already upgraded. My armory is already upgraded. I'm upgrading my heavies now to, to make the bombardier combination better. I've maxed out my warriors. This is going very, very well. I'm really liking HQ 21. I definitely felt a breath of fresh air when I got that HQ upgrade like a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, we've made so much progress. We've gotten so much XP. We've done really, really well since I got to that stage. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like as always. We have the Scorched Mega Crab coming in in nine hours. So tomorrow's video probably will be about that. And I will see you guys then. Bye, guys.